So I'm Captain Jim Morgan. I'm the mission commander for Pacific Partnership 2012, and I'm also the uh, commander of Destroyer Squadron 7 back in San Diego. I'm here to talk a little bit about Pacific Partnership 2012 and looking back over the four and a half months of the mission. Uh, we visited the host countries at their invitation, uh, Indonesia, the Philippines, Vietnam and Cambodia for 14 days. First of all, I think the most important part of the mission and what we accomplished was the 16 subject matter expert exchanges, which really accounted for thousands of hours of side-by-side -side work among all the different entities that participated in the mission. We had a record number of partner nations this year, 13. And we had 28 NGOs participate in the mission. And at every stop, they, we all worked together alongside our host nation counterparts to build the capacity and the relationships to respond to natural disasters, not if, but when they occur. So when I look back at Pacific Partnership 2012 and onto the missions that come after us, I think it's a great mission, a great way to build those relationships that we have to rely upon when a natural disaster occurs. And I think that those relationships are which will endure from year to year no matter what we do during the mission. I couldn't be more proud of not only our own services, but our, thank our partner nations. I thank our non-governmental organizations for a great mission and everything they accomplished this year for Pacific Partnership 2012. I'm Captain Bill Coger, Executive Officer of the Medical Treatment Facility USNS Mercy, here as we're wrapping up uh, Pacific Partnership 2012. It's always uh, interesting to look back upon the accomplishments of the mission and try and uh, measure our successes. Uh, and how we do that is always something of a challenge. Uh, when the ship goes out, we undoubtedly do good things, but people always want to know what good things we do. Historically, we tend to fall back on numbers because those are easy to measure. And by the numbers, we had a very successful mission. We screened almost 2,000 surgical patients, had conducted just under 900 surgeries, saw over 50,000 patients at multiple remote uh, locations in all four host nations, had 7,500 animal encounters with our veterinary services, our biomedical repair techs repaired over 250 pieces of medical equipment, and our most successful area was our subject matter expert exchange where we had over 67,000 hours of uh, interchange with host nation physicians, nurses, dentists, and other healthcare providers. In summary, we had an incredibly worthwhile mission. It's always hard to capture success short term in this other than the fact that everyone leaves the mission feeling very rewarding and as one of our predecessors said, the true measure of success for this mission is in the number of smiles, which were innumerable. Hello, my name is Captain Jonathan Olmsted. I am the ship's master on board USNS Mercy with Military Seal of Command. I lead a crew of 70 civilian mariners working for MSC on board Mercy for Pacific Partnership 2012. Our job as civilian mariners is to operate the ship keep it going from point A to point B. It's been a, uh, it's been a great mission the last four and a half months since we left San Diego. We have traveled almost 16,000 miles to this point. By the time we get back to San Diego, it will have been over 20,000 miles. We're all looking forward to getting back. It's been a uh, successful mission. Both teams played hard, uh, the Navy and all of the uh, civilian participants as well. I'm sure that everybody has walking away with a tremendous feeling of satisfaction after completing the mission, a job well done, and we're all very grateful to have had the opportunity to, to be a part of the mission, as well as looking forward to being home and returning to our friends and families.